Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. Um, the video today is on a Peugeot 308 2008 with the 1.6 uh, petrol engine. This, uh, so this is going to be hopefully a very quick video. Um, I'm going to have to do some editing, which I really hate. Anyway, uh, I've started to record this video as I normally do. So the car came uh, to me with the following problem. Let me put this down. Okay, so that's my problem. Problem is start to appear. As you can see, I don't know if you've seen, the temperature gauge went straight to maximum and I get engine temperature too high. The stop engine uh, light comes on as well, so I think it's going to be an easy fix. Okay, so as you have seen, I'm using clips, bits of videos uh, of video from the first, when I first start to record this. Uh, the reason being is because obviously now the, the, the repair is fixed uh, and uh, the repair the problem is fixed and obviously I can't show you so I'm going to use clips throughout the way anyway it's not a lot much more to show you but basically that was the problem um, with the car um, then what I've done is I went to the front of the engine to check that the Oh, sorry. Uh, before that, we went through live data, and uh, as you're going to see, the engine reports the correct temperature. It's going to go to live data. I only have ignition on at the moment. Uh, I think it's that one, maybe. That's interesting. Just tell me. Oh, hang on a second. Will that be my. Thirty-five degrees. That should be my. Uh... Come on, stop there. As you have seen, and you're going to see that the actually BSI reports a completely different temperature. Inactive. Engine coolant temperature. There we go, look at that. 215. So but why is engine coolant temperature 215 here but then on my and it says inactive so look at that the BSI tells me it's 215 degrees the the coolant which is obviously right I mean it's not right but obviously it makes sense to trigger a fault now that was a little bit weird this car uh, uh, does have only one temperature sensor as far as I'm aware so at this point um, I went then to the front of the engine so open the bonnet start to look uh, where the sensor is so I already kind of knew where it was anyway and when I got there I've actually realized the temperature sensor was new um, when I took the plague off so I took a little bit of things out of the way took the plague off the sensor off and this stayed inside the sensor it was already broken I don't know exactly how it happened, but uh, this just stayed in there. But the sensor is new. So as soon as I've seen that the sensor was new, my approach was different. Uh, and uh, I came back to the car uh, and uh, the the faults in the engine issue uh, were the following. codes. Not to mention as well, obviously, the cooling, the cooling fan is running uh, under percent all the time so engine coolant so I think is exhaust camshaft the phasing fault as well but um, 
I think those first two faults uh, kind of tells me uh, something. Uh, okay, so I should have showed you the faults back uh, more the start of the, the, the video. Anyway, so those are the faults. So when I've seen the sensor was new, uh, all I had to do literally was clear the faults. Okay, so uh, certain of these cars, some of these models, if you have a faulty temperature sensor and you replace the sensor, <coughs> although the engine is you, will start to see the correct temperature, the BSI will not see the temperature until you reset the faults. Okay, so we'll, we it will ignore the readings until you delete until you delete the faults. So, so you don't have to be chasing ghosts, guys. If you ever have this problem and you replace the sensor, you need to clear the faults. If you don't clear the faults, like I said, the BSI, he will ignore the readings from the engine ECU or from that sensor. It goes into the engine ECU and then obviously the engine ECU will send that through the can to the BSI. But yes, um, that's just, just a tip really. So. Uh, kind of a different uh, video here but nevertheless guys just a, just a tip so uh, oh, hope hopefully you guys or I hope this information can be useful to some of you out there so I think that's it for the vi for this video I hope there's some information here you guys are gonna enjoy it uh, hope you oh, hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments you know the score put them below check my forum patreon you know you know and uh, guys like always thank you so much for watching